Hello everyone, today I'm gonna talk about basic round house kick and tips to make your round house kick faster. This video is for beginners and anyone who wants to improve sparring. So if you are already good at sparring, you don't need to watch. First of all, let's see what's round house kick. Round house is the kick where you put your knee up straight to the front, turn your hip to rotate your body to the side, and kick to the leg, trunk, or head. Okay, let me tell you the details nobody tells you. Many Taekwondo instructors tell you, okay, turn your hips more. Turn your hip, turn, turn your hip more. Ah, like this. Okay, turn your body more. Turn your body. Ah, like this. But that is not easy, right? If you have ever heard that, then keep watching. You should check how much you pivot your supporting foot while kicking. Pivoting of the supporting foot will be different depending on how far you kick, how high you kick, and how flexible you are. Normally, supporting foot turns about 120 to 160 degree from the target when you do a single round house kick. Foot will pivot less when we kick closer, lower, continuously, and are flexible. Foot will pivot more when we kick further, higher, single kick, and are less flexible. Okay, those are the basics. Now, let's see the common mistakes of round house kick. Bending your knee the wrong way after kicking. Not enough turning when you kick heavy back. These can cause injury in your joint. Moving your hip outward cannot deliver your power to the target properly. Not bending your knee after kick makes you spend more energy. So you will be exhausted quickly and makes it hard to kick while moving forward for combination kicks. Also, your kick will be slow. There are so many different problems. It depends on individuals. So let's move on. Then, how can we make our round house kick faster? Basically, you need a lot of practice and strength training to improve. But I will give you some tips that you can apply instantly. Tip number one, put your knee straight up while skimming the other leg like fronting. Many people take curve while lifting up their leg due to focusing on turning. Straight movement is faster than curve. Those small details make big difference. Brush your knee against the other leg. Tip number two, keep bouncing to generate power from your Achilles tendon. Beginners don't bounce much while kicking because it's tiring. Then they will use abs and some thigh muscles to lift up their leg to kick instead of using Achilles like a spring. Also, that makes pivoting your supporting foot difficult. Therefore, you will pivot your front foot first, then your opponent can predict your kick easily and avoid even before you actually kick. Use your leg like a spring by bouncing. Tip number three, keep bouncing, but your stance is too narrow. You need to throw your leg to the front to kick, but if stance is not wide enough, your foot will rebound upward, not forward while bouncing. So you will step forward to make your stance wide enough to throw your foot forward. That extra movement will signal your opponent to avoid your kick easy. Make your sparring stance wide enough. There are many other ways to improve, but those that I showed you today are the basics in my opinion. Okay, that's all today. Most important thing is practice and repeat. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below if there is anything you want me to teach. Thanks for watching and see you next time.